Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to talk about one-handed shooting. This video is called The Art of One-Hand Shooting because it is a skill that many people don't practice. It's important to note that two-hand shooting is the way to go. If, if you have a chance to use both hands, that's what we're most comfortable with, that's what we train with, it is best to go in that direction. Some people may hold on to something, whether it be a phone, uh, a drink or sub, something of that effect. You want to drop that immediately and go to two-hand shooting. However, there are times when we are forced to use only one hand, be it an injury or maybe holding ourselves in support somehow or holding a kid back behind us. We have to shoot one-handed. So it's important to train. It's important to learn some mechanics so that we can be proficient and effective when shooting one-handed. The handgun we're using is a Springfield Ronin EMP in 9mm. It's important to note that we should use the similar mechanics that we would with two-handed shooting. However, it is a natural response to thrust forward with the same leg moving forward when one-handed shooting. If we take our finger and point, we notice that our hand is actually canted. To slightly cant the gun to align those sights works for me. Some people may keep it a little more straight. I like to cant it just a little bit. Hey, your sights are your sights and that is what you're relying on for accuracy. So I lean forward and you may notice I'm a little bit closer. If you look at baseball players when they warm up, they, they warm up rather close to each other until they get a nice strong feeling of throwing the ball. Well, I think the same thing applies when shooting, especially one-handed shooting. You're not going to get the accuracy that you would, but anywhere on the body is combat effective. So I'm, I'm only about eight yards away. I'm gonna to attempt to run the plates. Those are eight inch plates and I'm, I'm okay with that because I know that the shots that I missed were not that far off. One handed shooting is about proficiency, not necessarily small groups. You wanna, you wanna make your shots, you wanna feel confident, you wanna see that, that shot straight through to the target and using strong, tight control will get you there. When two handed shooting, it's standard to put two thumbs forward. That thumb is raised. When one-handed shooting, it's best to drop that thumb to support, in this case, the left side of the pistol. So instead of the thumb high, I'm going to drop the thumb low, and that way I have support all around the pistol the best that I can, considering it's with one hand. We talked about the importance of a good strong grip to support the gun when shooting one-handed. However, it's also equally as important for that strong grip to prevent a system stoppage, which requires a removal of that case and to recharge and everything else that will be very difficult one-handed. It can be done. However, we're talking about the importance of a good strong we all know when shooting a pistol that we take both hands and we grip around the handgun with a nice firm grip. Well, with one hand, clearly you don't have your opposite hand. A common belief though, so long as you're not injured, is that gripping this hand will actually force a tighter grip on the pistol. It's a, a human response to do that. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to tighten this up. It gives me a more natural feel I slightly cant the gun and I feel myself gripping the pistol just a little more. Earlier I used the baseball analogy of warming up their arm and, and then eventually backing up. I'm now 20 yards away. Even more important to focus on the fundamentals, key in on those sights and shoot with confidence. I've got a silhouette back there at about 20 yards. 
I'm going to thrust forward, keep a tight wrist, slight cant on the pistol, and I hit. One of the points that often gets overlooked is that we don't practice with our secondary hand. In this case, it would be my left hand. We, we shoot with our primary hand. We, we one hand practice with our primary hand, but not so much the other hand. So I'm going to do that now. I got closer, once again, building that confidence, but I'm going to shoot with my left hand using the same mechanics that were just discussed earlier. And I will say that that did not feel natural, but it's not meant to feel natural. That's why it requires practice. I, I was able to hit a silhouette from approximately eight yards, which in my eyes is pretty good. It's so important to understand that you will not get the same type of impact and groupings that you would with two-handed shooting, but one-handed shooting is, is an art in and of itself. It does require practice, some basic mechanics, slight changes while trying to keep everything as normal as possible. And I think with some time and some practice and put some energy into it, you will become a proficient one-handed shooter. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.